Hi, and welcome to section 8 on using a front end framework. In the previous section, we learned about browser features. In this section, we will look at Angular 2, a front end framework of Google Build for creating modern web applications, and what are all the building blocks of this framework. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with the introduction of Angular 2. In this video, we're going to take a look at all the possible front-end frameworks in Dart. We will see how to set up an Angular 2 project. Angular 2 uses Dart transformers, so we will cover that too. When we use a framework, we can write reusable components, write code that only matters to us. Dart is a programming language developed by Google. So some of the front-end frameworks are built by Google. First of all, you have Angular.Dart, which is the first version of Angular. Then we have Angular 2, which is a modern framework for the web. Angular 2 exists in Dart, but also in JavaScript. Polymer.dart is another toolset made by Google. It leverages web components with a new set of standards designed to provide reusable components for the web. You can find more information on the Polymer project website, which also has a JavaScript counterpart. You also have other frameworks that you can use as most of them are based upon or are wrappers of React.js from Facebook. Transformers are configured in the pubspec.yaml file. Every time you prepare or deploy a Dart application, these transformers will come into place. A Dart transformer prepares asset files or Dart files before its usage in the browser or transpiled to JavaScript. So, in our example, we will transform the file main.dart with the Angular transformer. You can also write your own custom transformers or use a transformer from pub. In this section, we're going to look at Angular 2. For a new Angular 2 project, you can always start from a stagehand template. In our case, we are going to use Web Angular. Do you remember that this pubspec.yaml is the heart of our application? It defines all the dependencies, the name of the application, author's name, and transformers. In this pubspec.yaml, you will see a reference to Angular 2. Then, we can use pubget to retrieve all our dependencies that are necessary for our application. Now, we can go to our main.dart file in our web folder. Here, you will see that we have a reference to app underscore component dot dart. Then, we will create our main.dart file in our web folder. App component is an Angular 2 component. One of the most important Angular 2 features. Components are the primary way to create application views and support them with the application logic. App component is the component which is a very basic and empty component. Later on, we will see how we can extend these components. The component annotation has two values. One is the component HTML name and the other one is the template that needs to be rendered. In the main function, we call Angular Bootstrap. It tells Angular to start the application with add component at the application root. Now, we can take a look at the HTML file. You will see that we have a myApp tag. This refers to the selection parameter of our app component. Now, we can run the application with PubServe, like we have already seen in the beginning of the course. 
This is our result now. It looks very basic, but this will give you at least some insight on how to start an Angular 2 application. We can now change the HTML of our components. You will see the changes in the browser. You made it to this video. Great job! In this video, we have learned how to start with Angular 2 and what Dart transformers are. We also repeated some important steps from within the Dart programming lifecycle.